All right, we've been talking so much about election day, but we have to cover weather and traffic every 10 minutes this morning because <laughs> exactly. otherwise, no one's morning is complete without Nate. Right. And or my goodness. Update on the forecast yeah. for sure. Yeah. yeah, so certainly, uh, you know, kind of a nice day yesterday, even with the cooler temperatures. We had the sun and clouds. We're going to see a repeat of that again for at least this morning. Uh, so really nothing holding you back as far as getting out uh, and voting, but I do want to show you we have some snow out there. Yeah, so this is what gets folks excited, I think, this time of year, especially as we are getting closer to ski season. A couple of inches, nothing too dramatic or significant up in our mountain areas, but we are seeing a little bit of moisture coming from the northwest. So uh, this is the snow stake at Brundage Mountain, a little bit of moisture reporting there, a couple of inches. Uh, this was the camera. You can see just a little bit of pavement uh, up at the top of the screen there. Smith Ferry, we've had a little bit of moisture out there, so there are some slick roads especially up in our mountain location. So up along Highway 55, uh, maybe give yourself a little extra time, not necessarily snow or uh, things on the roads, but there could be some ice or some slippery spots as we have some cool temperatures up there and some moisture. So what we can expect moving forward, it's quiet here downtown. We do have some cloud cover. There are a few hit and miss showers in some locations this morning, otherwise just partly cloudy for today. Most of the moisture again up in the north over the mountain areas. We are going to see more sunshine for tomorrow with breezy winds and uh, temperatures are going to stay below average as we move forward as well. So looking at temperatures at where you are this morning. So notice uh, most of us hanging out in those 30s, mid to upper 30s for most of the valley. In fact, 35 in Baker City, freezing in McCall right at 32, 23 though in Sun Valley. So quite a bit chillier in that area. Jet stream forecast showing that for the most part, this northwest flow isn't going anywhere just yet. But as we head into Friday, Saturday, we start to see a little bit of a nudge of high pressure push some of the jet stream up to the east of us. So we will continue to see that northerly to northwest northwest flow, which means we're going to continue to see some cooler than average temperatures unless that high would actually slide farther in our direction. So with the jet stream being in place again, we're getting some moisture or some cooler air up from the Gulf of Alaska coming into our region. Uh, most of it, as we talked about, staying to the north and east of us as far as the moisture goes, but there are a few showers possible, mainly in the mountains, and then the Treasure Valley likely going to stay dry through the weekend. In fact, mostly dry. There's again a few pockets of some hit and miss moisture out there this morning. Otherwise, nothing too significant. So 50 degrees, partly cloudy for today. Breezy tomorrow, 48, 47 on Thursday, being the cooler of the next five to seven days. Overnight lows, notice we're in the 20s, Thursday night into Friday, Friday night to Saturday as well. Upper 40s expected as far as uh, temperatures as we head into the weekend. Veterans Day, sunny and 50 degrees. 51 on Monday when we're observing Veterans Day. So a lot of folks probably out going to be out and about enjoying some of the sunshine out there. Our normal high for this time of year, 53 degrees. Extended forecast in the mountains, some snow showers, of course, possible uh, today. Maybe a few lingering showers tomorrow as well. Otherwise, temperatures getting up to 39 on Thursday. 40 degrees return over the weekend with uh, sunny and on Sunday, uh, although there are a few clouds expected on Saturday as a weak front passes by. Roland will have any updates to the forecast. He's on, of course, at 4 and 5.30 on CBS 2 News. Be tracking any of the showers that form up in the mountain areas, a little bit of snow. Otherwise, uh, overall, pretty quiet weather in general. All right. We're in November. Yeah. Having November-like temperatures <laughs> only makes sense.